A Russian soldier injured in the war was given vegetables instead of monetary compensation. A Russian soldier who was severely wounded while fighting in Ukraine has received only two buckets of carrots and a bag of onions from the government instead of the money his family thought he would receive, according to a new report. The report was published by the independent investigative outlet Mazem Obayaznit, which reportedly interviewed the soldier's wife for the story. The Mazem Obayaznit article said Oleg Rybkin, 45, was mobilized from Russia's Volgograd region to fight in Ukraine in September 2022. In June, Rybkin was in combat near the village of Robertine in Zaporizhia Oblast. While serving in Robertine, Rybkin was wounded in the abdomen, liver, kidneys, and his right knee joint was destroyed. Rybkin reportedly underwent an operation at a local hospital in Ukraine before undergoing abdominal surgery at a hospital in Sevastopol, Crimea. Russia's military medical commission then deemed Rybkin to be temporarily unfit to fight and he was sent to St. Petersburg for further rehabilitation. The soldier's wife, Irina Rybkina, described her husband as being in extreme pain and in need of a knee surgery that he never received. Nevertheless, he was soon reportedly made to return to his unit. Medical professionals have told Irina that her spouse needs a knee replacement procedure, but she claimed that Russia's military command doesn't want to be forced to pay the 3 million rubles or $32,730 in compensation and a lifelong pension that Oleg would receive if he's found permanently unfit to serve. Instead of the rubles and the pension, Irina told Mozem Obyaznit that the only help Russian government officials have given her family is in the form of two buckets of carrots and a bag of onions grown by local farmers. What vegetables? What gifts? Do I need to replace my husband's joint and get him discharged? She said. It is reported that Oleg is currently back serving in his unit while using crutches.